Yeah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our channel. This is Mechanics and the Techniques. Here in this channel, we use this video for teaching mechanical engineering listeners, maybe auto electricians and the mechanical listeners. So today we are going to talking about or we are going to learning about braking system, how braking system works. So if you are ready to learn this lessons, please be careful and understand what I am going to telling you about this chapter. So without wasting time, let us start. Before we explain operating the principle of braking system, just you have to know what is a braking system, what is the meaning of braking system. After to understanding the meaning of braking system, you will know and it, it will be easy to understand how the braking system works. Exactly. Continue to watch. So I invite you to subscribe for free next lessons about mechanical and the auto electricians in mechanical engineering fields. So let us start. What is a braking system? Braking system means the component required to stop motor vehicle. Exactly. Braking system means the components required to stop motor vehicle, including flow disc, brake pedal. That is the first component of a braking system. Secondary, master cylinder and connecting horses, lines and the fluids, linkage and the drums, shoes and lotters, parts and the car parts and the parking brake. Those are components which we need in braking circuit in order to stop our motor vehicle or our car. Exactly, I think the meaning of braking system is very, is very understanding, very understandable. Exactly, that is the meaning of a braking system. If you are not understanding very well, please make stop this video and lead in leading carefully in order to help you to understand the meaning of a braking system. So, after we explaining the meaning of braking system we are going to explain operating the principle of braking system by using this sketch we are going to use this sketch for helping you to understand how the braking system works but before not to help you to understand more please read this notes operating the principle of hydraulic braking is based on pascal laws some people who learned about pascal laws in physics and chemistry it's easy to understand this so the pressure of fluid which is encrusted on all set act even on all sides. I think the force with which the brake pedal presses when you press brake pedal like driver on the plunger in the master cylinder generates the fluid pressure exactly. Master cylinder it helps to generate the pressure in order to get how we can stop our vehicle. The fluid pressure takes effect through the brake lens. The fluid pressure takes effect through the brake lens and generate application force that application force is generated by um, fluids is a crazy real force which takes to stop our vehicle this is is a science ways but i'm going to give you the way of taking the technical ways in the people to understand that is like science ways but here we are going to explain by using techniques ways exactly we vote don't go away because we are going to explain this sketch in order to help you to understand very well as i told you here we have a brake pedal that's the first component of braking system here we have a brake boost and we have a master cylinder and then you have a brake lens and here we have a disc brake and that is the front wheel here in the rear wheel you have a drum brake in Leo we driver it use drum brake and front wheel to use disc brake. So let explain well every each component. The first we have brake pedal is where the ped brake pedal is a pedal that you press with your foot in order to make the vehicle go slowly or stop. Here when driver press here with the foot exactly it make our vehicle go slowly or stop. That is the functions of a brake pedal. Secondary, we have a brake booster. 
The function of brake boost, it helps to boost the performance of the brakes. Exactly, it produces the power which is passing into master cylinder. Because master cylinder, it helps to supply brake fluid into the circuit to convert pressure on the brake pedal to hydraulic pressure. Here, the pressure which it produced by master cylinder, it helps to convert that pressure into hydraulic pressure in order to get how can to stop our vehicle. And then you have brake lines. Brake lines, it helps to transmit a fluid or oil into the brake circuit. Exactly, it helps to transmit the oil or fluid into the until into this piston which it helps to push on the disc brake. So, in order to help you to understand the way, I'm going to give you full operating principle of this circuit. Flow this. When a drive press to the clutch pedal, exactly the brake boost it produce it produce boost performance of brakes exactly it contains to master cylinder and the master cylinder here have small tanks where the brake oil are stored and then after that oil from the brake uh, on the master cylinder because the driver pressed here exactly the oil are stored into master cylinder it is divided by two ways in the front front wheel driver and the rear wheel drive in order to reach into this brake and the other go into the brake drive so you ask the why how when the oil reach into this brake what is the happen let's give you operating the principle of this brake a disc brake are similar to the brake on bicycle like it's the disc brake talking like a bicycle uh, brake on on the bicycle in the disc brake the brake part squeeze the lotto instead of wheel and the force is transmitted hydraulic instead of through the cable exactly when oil is reaching here it push the piston which are here to for closing a disc brake when disc brake are half the movement the piston are closing that disc brake and the speed of disc brake are decreased i think so the friction between in in the disc brake have the some device which called pads when the piston are pushing that part the friction between the parts and the disc make the vehicle slow down and get very hot in order to stop our vehicle. That's how disc brake works. And then other, the second way that oil coming from the master cylinder, it continues to break pressure reducer. Here that pressure produced by master cylinder, and he when it reaches into brake pressure reducer, it, it decrease the pressure in order to get the required pressure and not using into drum brake how does it drum brake works in order to get the slow movement of a car or how to stop the vehicle the beast here we have the piston or cylinder wheel where the oil are stored in the drum brake the piston the piston press brake cleaning brake cleaning here which are friction between when the driver press the clutch pedal the oil are coming into piston and the piston push these black drums and closing the here in the, the in the drum and when how the driver continue to press this black drum are expanding the all sides and the, the, that movement of a drum are decreased by this drum and this drums in order to decrease the rotating of the wheels that's how the wheel are reduced again i think this is a re operating principle of hydraulic braking system if you understand if you like this video please subscribe thank you for watching this video we shall meet next time in new new lessons